And I was just Good morning. checking on your brother. Or? Look for signs. Uh, just, I mean, I was shaking uncontrollably. Yeah. Glad you like, brother. Oh my gosh. And then the next day, I wasn't fine, but I mean, still had the fever and never sore throat, but only when I coughed. That makes sense. I, I, but it, it took me. We were on the cruise ship. Is that when it hit you? Mm -hmm. Wow. And everybody that was on the cruise had to be had to have a negative test. So I, we had to have gotten it on the plane, mm -hmm. on the plane trip out to Seattle. I don't, I don't know. Wow. Two days before we left, well, the day before the plane trip, we all had negative tests here. So we were all negative on Wednesday. Yep. And I was sick on Tuesday. Wow. No, my cousin told me there's a new strain going around called Ninja. Is that true? Ninja. There is a a strain. It's a B strain, but I I don't know the the technical stuff on it. I guess they thought starting in Erie, Pennsylvania, they've had a few cases, and it's called the Ninja. And I'm like, really? Okay, that's kind of stupid. So what's this? Is this for me? This? Yeah. Oh, that's the. Uh... Just stuff that you didn't get when you weren't here. Okay. I, I do this packet with you guys. Each have like a folder and I put stuff in it. Are we going to have a corn? Yeah, they're all upstairs. Oh. I think we actually have everybody here today. Really? We didn't. We, we, Rita and I both got it. And, and her sister and brother-in-law that was with us every step of the way. She sat between us mm -hmm. on the plane trip out. Neither one of them got it. They, and they went ahead and tested and they Isn't tested that something. Again. And that, that was the first time either of us had gotten that. We'd mm -hmm. been around, we'd been exposed before. So we got it, we don't even know where we got it from. Except the kid behind us on the plane had a runny nose for four hours. Uh, 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 it, it, three days worth before my wife finally got it and then we could be together. But I was in our second bedroom and I didn't want to even move. I just laid on the bed and just pretty much passed out. It was a... Uh, we, I mean, and that night, the, we did have some Advil, cold, not cold as that, but ibuprofen with us. So that helped probably the fever. Um, I stayed in the cabin. We were at sea that day. So I just stayed in the cabin the whole day. Rita went out and got some food and brought it back. And, I, I was like, oh, get some pizza, you know. She brought the pizza back in, and I was like, I don't smell the pizza, <laughs> and I really don't taste this pizza. <laughs> it, it was weird. Some some things. It was kind of like high carbs or sugary things. I didn't, I couldn't taste, and other things I tasted just fine. Really. But um, we were we were afraid to go see the ship's doctor because we didn't know if they'd let us on the plane in Seattle or would they make us get off the boat in Canada. Wow. And uh, by the time we, that was Thursday, we stayed in all day. Friday, we didn't port in British Columbia until 5 p.m. And um, she got off the boat at 3040 and uh, the direct spot and went yep. to, uh, I'm sorry. Kind of paid to have a tour. Took a tour. I'll give you a tour. Stop at a at a pharmacy. Thank you. You're welcome. She got some Dayquil and some Nyquil. And we were just really tired. Don't worry about ditch life, huh? So what did you have? Self test that you took. When we got when we got home Saturday, first thing we did was test. And I looked at hers and I was like, ooh, this is faint, but according to this, she's positive. And then three minutes later, mine came up. I said, there's no doubt this one's positive. I mean, it was almost like neon, bright lines. So then Monday, then I had to go get a test. And then they told me I could come back to work. That was <laughs> but I still, yeah, I, I, took, I took another day. And then they, they made you mask up when you came back for a while. For Thursday and Friday. Yeah. 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 We had excitement on Saturday night. Across the street, the police showed up and they were looking in all the windows for 20 minutes. 
And my cousin that was there, she was a firefighter. She's like, they're getting ready to bust the door and they're waiting for a supervisor. I'm like, how do you know? She was just watch. Sure enough, you know, my cross, he pulled up. They bust the door in and then they all come over to the house and me. And this is like 10 o'clock at night. You know, have you seen Rodney Gamble? You know, did, you, did you hear about that situation on Stevenson? No. Oh, they said he was missing. Mm-hmm. And and they Here busted his door in, and his wife's ashes were missing. It all comes out. He's on vacation. It, it, it just there's a lot of events to it, but yeah. Somebody come at two in the morning. I'm over there, drunk, screaming in front of the house. And That's normal for Mary. I was like, oh my, not my neighborhood. <laughs> And my cousin's like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. First you have the weather, now this. <laughs> but he's on vacation on Saturday. Uh, they busted the door and had nothing. There's some farmers that don't know grains either. I find that oh, 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 yeah, right now. I've heard that. Yeah. Miss Burton, you uh, still not in a hating mode toward me, right? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Getting closer though all the time. <laughs> uh, buddy. <laughs> what? We'll see if, we'll yeah, see if we can help it along. Take his gym. Hey, we got the screen. Oh, he's gone. He's probably eating on the screen of the Well, Mark. Mark. Yeah, us Mark. three, we had yeah, to yeah. we had to vote I'm, on the, uh, the, 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 the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he signed it last meeting. You got in a hurry. Well, He's like a little bit of knowledge when it comes I'm to I'll go ahead and send it on down to work then. I'll make a motion on it. <laughs> we'll have to get, get Wait, yeah, started. He's got to call to order first. <laughs> we are recording, so. All right, we're going to call the uh, Grant County Drainage Board to order July 26th. Noting all five members present, we have quorum. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Todd is not with us today, but Raymond is sitting in. Yeah, he is. Oh, Todd's oh, here. Coming. Okay, <laughs> he's just late. Uh, and we have a visitor here learning uh, remedial drainage right now. Mr. Wright, glad to see you're here. And Thank you. I just see Jim walked in, so. Sorry. Nope, no problem. I, I counted you absent and then they said, no, he's coming. All right, uh, first thing up, we tabled minutes uh, from last meeting and those were the meetings, uh, minutes of June 28th. We didn't have uh, the right amount of people to vote on those. All the members are present that were there. So I would entertain a motion on the June 28th meeting. I'll make a motion. Mr. Cates is making that motion. And uh, Mr. Franker, since you were there, you've seconded. All right, any discussion on those minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Those abstaining? Abstain. Technically, you could. I technically abstain. Okay. You're an yeah. abstain. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Okay. So it's carried uh, three ayes to two abstentions. It's carried. Our other minutes? July 12th. July 12th. Okay. I'll make a motion. Second. Mr. Uh, Cates made the motion. Mr. Cox seconded. And uh, I think the only one absent for that was our uh, recovering COVID addict here. All right. Any other questions on those minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Uh, Those abstaining? Aye. Carried 401 abstention. All right. Let's go through our general claims first that we can vote on. Personal Chronicle Tribune, eighteen dollars and two cents on the Aaron Newby, thousand two hundred, a thousand two hundred and seventy-one dollars in the fund. I think. Oh yes, I'm sorry. A two and one. Throw me on that dock here. Tom's excavating. Uh, $20,000.41 and 70 cents on the unthanked for Mick Roush. $19,217.87 in the fund. We were going to borrow the remainder. There's still about $1,300 worth of work uh, right there at the end on the Lozier's. We're not going to damage the beans till they get done. 
JNM farm drainage $16,557.37 on the Furman tile. Again, this is one we're borrowing a little bit to finish this job. There's $15,029.58 in the fund. Cook excavating $2,475 on the and 40 cents on the winger ditch. $25,449.02 in the fund. And Cook excavating $908.25 on the Sweetser ditch. This is tile repair, uh, $12,383.10 in the fund. These ones were bought, but they got the money to kind of kick Who's, back in the spring mm -hmm. and fall or what? Yeah, within one season. Who's J&M? Uh, it's, an, it's a new outfit that uh, I'm not familiar with. Uh, Thurman chose Thurman and... The doctor Westfall. Dr. Westfall. Mark. Yeah, they, they brought those estimates to us and we, we approved it. And both these funds are going to roll back within a year. So that's kind of stuff over east. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's the one where we, up by Van Buren, we decided to do the 15 inch tile. The bigger oh, okay. job. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To make it last longer, it needed to be done. <clears throat> Move we pay these claims. Second. Motion, Mr. Cox. Second, Mr. Goff. Any other uh, discussion, questions? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 It's carried unanimously. What's our next step? Drury Simmons and Vorum, three, $385 on Hummel Creek. Question. Yes. Are we going to figure out and get Bill? Mr. Rott, so we try to get the money. That's what I think that's, that's probably a, what this charge is, is for. Yeah. He's, working He's calculating that. exactly what we we can do and how much and how quickly we can uh, put that I to him. His correspondence is about done, wasn't he, Mary? I mean, yeah, I'm waiting to hear from him. I have given him everything he needs to. Okay. Um, it's time to get move and get right. what we can. Get our money back as soon as possible. I'll get that. I'll pay that right up. Kenny, question? I don't know whether you got the message or not, but on this bill that we send to, to him, I think we ought to charge him 1% interest or something a month because if we don't if we don't put a figure in there to give him incentive. We, we sent that to Joe to ask him if that, that could be done or not. Yeah. yeah, he's looking into that too. Because if we don't, I'll just sit and watch the thing. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, in <clears throat> reconstruction, you have a year, I don't know about this, mm -hmm. but the reconstruction, mm -hmm. have a year to pay it. And then they start and then, then start it. Yeah. But I don't know if this, where this would fit in or fits it in at all, you know. <laughs> well, we want him. We want to needle him a little to yeah. <laughs> get her money, okay? Never. I'm, 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 we shall see. Yeah. <laughs> we played it out long enough, and Gene Johnson's been rolling in his grave for years yeah. over it, so. But we will, uh, as soon as uh, Joe uh, gets us that information, if we can start the billing, billing process immediately, we will. And carry it to <laughs> So those probably are probably probably with the deputy sheriff. That's right. Yeah, because they'll say we well, didn't get it. Make him sign for it. Mm -hmm. I'm making a motion we pay the <clears throat> Drury Simmons. All right, motion, Mr. Uh, Goff. Second. Mm -hmm. Second, Mr. Pinkerton. Any other question, discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Those six abstaining? Abstain. Carried four to one abstention. We've got plenty of folks that have to abstain today, don't we? Mm -hmm. Am I the only one that doesn't pay a ditch tax? You must yeah. not. <laughs> well, you've been gone, so we need to keep you in the, in the I would pay a ditch tax. 
Exactly. All right, let's go to the next section there, Jim. This one, Gordon Goffs to abstain. Kate's Brothers, $1,050 on Big Deer Creek, $43,410 in the fund. Sullivan's excavating, $3,785 on Back Creek, $104,429 in the fund. Kenny made the motion. Second. Richard, the second. Discussion? This was both tree removal. Okay. Pretty cut and dry. Are there more trees to be removed now? We'll be after Saturday's yeah. Yeah. wind storm. All right, we have a motion with support. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. Uh, aye. Those abstaining? Aye. Carry four to one abstention. All right, last but not least. Uh, this one, Kenny Case to abstain. Case Brothers, $600 on Pipe Creek, $145,833 in the fund. And Bragg excavating, $8,949 on Pipe Creek, $145,833.01 in the fund. The, this job was in Miami County, took care of by the Miami County Surveyor, removing large log jams. We've got pictures of them <clears throat> before and after. Make a motion before we pay the two claims. Motion Gordon. Mm -hmm. Second. Pat is. Second the motion on the Pipe Creek claims. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor would say aye. 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 And those abstaining? Aye. Carry four to one abstention. All right. We've paid our bills. Under old business, still nothing with Little Crane Pond. Um, I know you've been kind of out for vacation slash COVID. Uh, did you follow up on around Ivanhoe on those sinkholes at all? I mean, it's part of that extension, I think, but anything that's come up? Yeah, haven't gotten anywhere with it yet. Uh, do, do you have any records of where that tile goes and what's tied into it? Because that's, what we're trying to figure out is, can it just be abandoned? seal it off be done with it and i i missed that part mary, mary, mary was talking about this those, those sinkholes behind ivanhoe oh, okay that are yeah. kind of attached to a little crane mm -hmm. uh, does anything drain through those i think it dead ends down there somewhere so maybe the only thing is groundwater right maybe right Streets drain into it? No. Yeah, there's no inlets that go into it. The, the I, I think it just stopped down there somewhere. Just the east side of Kendall School. I think that was the end of the tile we figured out at one time, Pat. The, uh, <coughs> I've got Bill looking into it because I wanted, <coughs> excuse me, if we can just seal it off and be done with it, that's what we need to do. But then about the time we do that, Three years from now, we find out that water's standing in people's backyards. So I'm afraid to just go seal it off. So I, I wanted him to go get shots and see, you know, is there any kind of a swell or, or, or any indication? Um, but we've tried to televise it. It's not in good enough shape to even get our camera through. Right. And so, so I it wouldn't be going into your stormwater. Now it goes into the little crane. Goes into the little crane. It crosses Kim Road and then yeah. hits that storm system back in there. Is what I've always heard. Well, it it definitely does that. It, there's a there's a bust in the elevations there around Kim Road in it, but that's I mean we know it we know it goes there. Don't that open open ditch come up to Miller Avenue? Yeah, and crosses Miller and swings around by St. James Lutheran Church. That's where this water's headed. That head wall behind St. James Lutheran Church. Well, we're wanting to get rid of it up to Miller Avenue or something, aren't we? Mm -hmm. 
this would include that. So if we get a little bit more insight from utilities on that, because at, at, when we started our discussion, I don't think that was actually, it was more behind the, the doctor's yeah. area that off of um, the off open of chapel. Chapel. The open part yeah. of yeah. well, right. right. Well, we come up there, we spent 27000 to cut trees, trees for an attorney down there. And and it was his trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where you were trying to get rid of it. It was their trees till they died. Till they died, and then they were our trees. Yeah, but right. one time, then they go in there and clean that out with wheelbarrow rocks. Right. Yeah. 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 So if we can do a little oh, bit now, we got a mosquito problem there, right? Too no. No, no, on so. the other branch. Yeah. Yeah. The other brand, and then the farmers is that the one paying the American through, that goes through Green Pond, right? The farmers was paying for the clean out down there. I mean, the trees and so on and so forth that come out of you know. And I had Eric Bragg, I, I just want to keep you guys posted. I had Eric Bragg go, to look at it about a mini excavator and, and hauling that stuff out there behind American Drive in that area. That lady still wants that done, but you know, she's got a little walk bridge. There's still going to be high spots and low spots. That all that water's not going to drain out of there. There's still going to be a mosquito problem. But there's one fence that's like 15 feet from the easement, and I, I thought stood. It, but Eric, uh, how much was the estimate? Fifty-one. Fifty-one thousand. Fifty-one thousand. <laughs> For what? Well, to dip to, it? to dip it out and yeah, and haul that gravel that's going to come out of the bottom. So. All the that was Eric Bragg figured of uh -huh. fifty one thousand. Yeah, I was hoping it might be down around fifteen or twenty, <laughs> and then you, we could just approve it, have him do it, and be done with. You know. Well, it's probably the hauling out. That's yeah. The, problem. Mm -hmm. the hauling and then the repairing of all the yards. We need we need to take bids or something. Find somebody right. else. Yeah, well, that's my next step. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going to yeah. cost that much. Anyway, me and Eric talked about. We for all this. Yeah. On the long run. No more maintenance. You tell those farmers out there that it's cost them that much. Me, me, yeah. and, me and Eric talked about uh, talking to the two landowners on the east side of the ditch down in there and see if we couldn't go in that way and do that short section down there at least to be able to leave this spoil in the field. Is that Mike Graff or is it north of Mike North, Graff? North of Graff. Okay. There's two properties that come off of Miller that go all the way back to the ditch. Okay. But our larger property owners. Did he look at cleaning this out through the woods too, further north? Right. He, okay. he, st he stopped down there at that little problem that comes from the west. There's a problem that comes just, in from the west, and then he was from there south is what he was pricing. Just on. north of the chain link fence that's in the way, the big six foot chain link fence that runs. There's still a small section between where Red Did that guy build that swimming pool? Yeah. Well, you finally put one in? Yeah. Because he, he came to us and it's in. It's in. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's pick, keep moving. I don't think uh, we've got any other updates because we've already talked Hummel Creek Solar. We're waiting to see what the uh, area plan recommends. Uh, no additional new business, but under other business, we've got Doyle Ferguson. A few years ago, they, they set this up at a high rate, $25 an acre. It generated a lot of money. It's all been cleaned out recently. They have, uh, let me get a figure out here. They have $31,838 in their fund. So they would like to have a public hearing at, uh, to $5 an acre. Am I reading that right, Mary? Yeah. It used to be two, apparently. Oh no, this is what they want to go for five. Five dollars an acre, twenty-five dollar home site with a ten dollar minimum, and that'll bring in uh, this right here a year. Is there more than one? Yeah. Well, what? Yeah, there's. Yeah, that's going. Same thing. Huh? It's going to bring in more than that. 
because he's given me so many different things. Right. Yeah. They, they've got the petition here from Harold Turner, the Turner Brothers, to request this, to, to lower this hearing. Mary, you just have to, whatever would work for you guys, if you can get the notices out and have the hearing August 30th. Mm -hmm. well, I've got a go. question because <clears throat> it seemed like when we started talking about minimums on the, on the homestead or the homes that we had looked at a lowest threshold of 50 when we were, did we keep it at 25 when we moved it up to the uh, 25? Well, that's what they were asking for. Well, they're at, asking that the, the acreage go, right go to 5 and 25. Yeah, it was, it was 50 at the current plan right now. So that's, that's my question is, do we want, we've had, with so many others at 50, do we want to put that as our threshold or do we, do we? Do you have any idea how many home sites are on it? Can't be too many. Wouldn't think so. Mm -hmm. 13. 13. Come on. I, I, you know, I, I will go with your wisdom guys, but I, I, Thought we wanted to try yeah, and keep a threshold. Yeah. Try to leave it at fifty. Yeah, that would be my thought. Because they still, you know, they produce they, water. They put up for the water every day. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I don't want to be mean and, and yeah. I, five dollars an acre, fifty dollar home site. That that would be my and my thought. The They're not going to object. I don't think. Ten. <clears throat> Third, how many acres uh, was that? Thirteen hundred eighty-seven. Yes, one thousand three hundred eighty-seven. Yeah, one thousand three hundred eighty-seven. So how much is it times five a year? Times five. I, I sat down with Harold Turner and we pushed the numbers, and our calculation showed that they'd have enough in the fund to clean it out in five years, and keep it sprayed. So that was our intention was to have the fund and that capabilities at that time down the line. And he's going to keep on it this time. You know, he had trouble years ago getting co cooperation. Now he's got a good shape. He's not he, going to let slide. He would like to put it on the spray program so that it gets sprayed every year and he doesn't have to get on neighbors that way. Yeah, Jim, what, what do you want me to plug in for rates? Is I can pay whatever I can. Well, $50 home site and $5 an acre. Well, okay, and what about the Petitions for $5 an acre. What do you want for the What's minimum? What's the minimum now? Ten. No, not now. We it was moved that to no, fifty two. Where's current? Right? On a minimum. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. yeah. The request is ten. Yep. How many? Well, I don't how know. many places are going to be minimum? Um, two. Two. And then what? What? Home site, if home it's site a small parcel pay. next to home site, they're already paying 50. I, I hate to have them pay at a high minimum, too. Yeah, I know we've gotten one that I pay $30 an acre. What do you mean for a small parcel? Yeah. Yeah. So we leave the home site at 50 and set yeah. the acreage at five. And minimum of 10. That's the request. 10? Yeah. What, what the 10 to make it long? It'd have to be just, a, there's only two One of them. Or less. Yeah, there's only two of them, so that's got to be small parcels, probably connected to a whole <coughs> site. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think that's fair. Here. We, we reduce the uh, the acreage to five. We keep the the home at 50 and the, the minimum at 10. It'll bring in um, 7,600. You need a motion on that or what? Yeah, we do need a formal motion on those and the the uh, public hearing date. Mary's we've got something to tell you. It'll bring in seventy six hundred dollars a year, yeah. and they're going to be letting that build along with the thirty thousand. Other than spring, not a very big watershed, is it? Big thing, big thing. We got thousand three hundred eighty seven acres. Big thing. We got money to spread. So you're talking we can do a public hearing on the 30th of August. We're going to have to really get these notices done. 
So the, the information we need, uh, Kenny, is a uh, public hearing on 30th of August, the uh, 15th. Uh, 50 home site, $5 per acre, and a $10 minimum. Are you making that motion, sir? Yeah. Motion has been made. I'll second. And Pat is in a seconding mood today. Just Further not, discussion? Just not fast enough to get the motion done. He's having a little bit of a COVID lag there. Yeah. Probably fishing lag. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hearing no uh, discussion, all those in favor would say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Staining? Okay. Unanimous. Okay. We'll get that uh, to the uh, residents and publicize it and go to work next month. All right. Any other, other business? Uh, got a question. <clears throat> we run into, it's not a problem. If somebody goes to the county highway to get a permit to put fiber optic cable in, who do they see? They go to the office. They're supposed to uh, review it. I think David reviews it with them or either Tony because, again, they're we actually had a, a meeting yesterday with, with uh, Charter Spectrum and they were still asking that we, we plow and or uh, uh, whatever the other thing is to, to get it in and no, we said no, it has to, to be chained in, totally opened up. So they can't bore you? Um, Can they bore it and pull it? <laughs> I don't remember if we've got that in the ordinance or not. I don't now, is that the one on 300 and, and, and the Swayze are 300 and 300? Um, we, we didn't talk about a specific address, but they are doing doing work right now. I know that. Well, here's what we got. 300 going into Roseburg. Okay. We run across to, putting in a fiber optic cable. A now fit from Fort Lauderdale, down by Fort Lauderdale, Warner Haven, someplace in Florida, is a doing this. Mm -hmm. They couldn't find nobody up here to do it, supposedly. So Doug Kingseed went down and called him, and I got ground on Roseburg Road and on Swayze Road. Wendell's got ground on both sides. Mm -hmm. The site they're going on is, is Wendell's, and Doug went down through and knew about where the tile was, where they crossed the road, and they marked them. Mm -hmm. the, when they come in, they wanted to plow it, and they found out that they, they couldn't not, plow it. Yeah. So they rented a couple chain machines and it was too hot and they overheated. So they're digging the whole thing with those little mini backhoes. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh my. And Wendell and his crew was working there on the Swayze Road this morning. They come alongside a couple of our ditches that goes across the road and we got risers in there and they come alongside and kind of bumped them so they was, they're working to get the dirt out of the tile, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, but I asked him, I said, have you, uh, have you got a uh, county permit for this? So said, well, I don't know, somebody else takes care of that. And my question was that when they went out to the county highway garage to some secretary, they said, hey, I need a permit to, the board, does some secretary just hand a permit, or does somebody <laughs> got a... As I understand it, they go through with it because 
we've been fussing with charter spectrum over the, the where it's going in and we actually had a phone conversation yesterday about it and I said, said nope it's not going to change but they they uh, they said that they just couldn't find no I asked the guy I said why are you up here from Florida he said they couldn't find nobody around here to do it yep. and he said we want when we bid the thing we bid it aerial See then they found out the light poles wasn't tall enough. Okay. Gordon <clears throat> probably go along with me on this. There's down on 22, we turned the corn planter down there, and the marker caught fiber optic cable <laughs> and took three poles down. They're putting they're putting fiber optic on the poles because it's cheaper than. Put it in the ground. But it's supposed to be 15 foot from the ground. Yeah. Evidently it wasn't, huh? It wasn't, oh no. I, I could almost reach it. Well, yep. 10, 10, 12 feet. I mean, a marker on a planter, just, you know, you don't think about it. Yep. And John, John come up there and turned. <laughs> I, I, had, I had got that permit, and it says you have an option of board option and, and it says on Stout County Highway they got a board that or you can plow it and uh, we that's not true because no we, we took the plow out we, we have to dig the chain yeah. chain it in but well, I think that way if you cross a tile you're liable to flip some bats up so you know you know if, if the guy's halfway awake he can know he hit it. it it's I think it's too lenient and no no yeah. We, it's chained in, but then uh, Mr. White wants more the road. Or it may be well, we have the same problem there because it could be a tile under, in, under the road. Yeah. Well, we've had that happen. Uh, yes, and you had good, that. no good deal. But I don't think it. It uh, uh, what do you? When they try to plow it in, that's not an option in anywhere, and it shouldn't be anywhere in the county. But I just was curious to know if they went and got a permit. Who? Well, was down on top on of it, and some secretary just handed a piece of paper down the road yeah. from Don Wright. I caught them, and they were all going to plow it in, and I caught them. And said, you, "You can't do that." And when I got a hold of the Spectrum boss, I know that. <laughs> They've moved out. They've not been back. They left the yeah. deal. They've not been back. So I I don't know what we we kind of watch. Of course, that's where the farmers go. Our, yeah, our farmers are going to be kind of the enforcement officers yeah. well, when you see them doing it. I've said this before, but here's what he, he hadn't heard this. Here's one of your problems. If they come up here and look at records, of the owner, okay. She lives in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> she pays taxes from Atlanta, Georgia. It comes up here, <clears throat> electric or fiber optic company comes up here and got her. They send her a, a notice that they're going to go down her side ditch. <clears throat> She's in Atlanta, Georgia. He's a farm in the thing up here. He knows where the ditches are. She inherited it. She may not have ever seen the farm, okay? All she sees is the check that comes in. She just takes the, the notice and throws it in the trash. Don't call him and tell him, say, hey, uh, go mark the tile that the, they're going to prowl fiber optic. So then in two years, two years, uh, you got a big suck hole there, and part of the time the fiber optic is through the center of the tile, and you got to go back on each side so you can lift the tile or lift the fiber optic up enough to get under, put a, another tile in place. And it might and be the outfit that done it. Yeah. They're in Long Iowa. Or and it could affect two or three other farms that yeah, drain yeah, through that yeah, farm yeah. that they damaged. Yeah, that tile, that tile could affect two or three other farms. 
You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a tough situation to get on top of, but, you know. And, the problem, like you said, is so she lives here, doesn't get to talk to the farmer, and you gotta, you got to be proactive to see what's going on. But what? <clears throat> I, bet, I bet there's, <coughs> I, I had a guess, guesstimate, I know 25%, I, I bet 25% live out of state, of, of the land oh, here, to live well. out of state and so forth. But the only way the, the, the fiber optic knows is to go up here and look at the records, the tax records, and send it to that address. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I say, if it's in, if it's in Atlanta, Georgia, and, and she don't get a hold of the farmer up here, you know. Uh, no, no good way. That's no, no, there's just they're, good. they're following their just get farmers along. When, when, you, when you see them coming down the road, you catch them and find out where they're going. And then if you got ditches going across, you go down and you probe them and flag them and mark them and try to be there the day that they get close to them. Yeah. That's, the, that's, yeah. that's the best way. In the notice, can't they put, you know, if, if you are an owner, can you please notify the renter? Yeah, we need, because that happened on Pipe Creek north of the Stone Quarry. We notified the owner, but she didn't tell the renter. So then we show up to dig it out, and he's got crops planted, and he's upset. We'd have to check state law and see. I mean, we can ask that, but, but I didn't know that they're not guy. obligated. Take a little headache down the road, though. Yeah, please notify your tenant. Get the treasurer to put that on there. Yeah. yeah. Or the auditor to put that on there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's well, any letters we send out, we could add it to. Yeah. A notification letter. The chaining is option, but it's not, it's the best option, but it's not foolproof because. Backhoe's the best option. Pardon? Backhoe's the best option. Yeah. That ain't gonna work. Well, actually, they were complaining yesterday saying, we are using backhoe and the, the toughest thing you, you're going to have to deal with is the people that were coming through their property where we're going to have to mm -hmm. straw and, and reseed. Uh, that's three foot wide. Get ready for complaints. And I said, well, that's the right of way that has to be worked in for utility work. And they, they realized that. So Get a recover. we'll take, we'll take the complaint and remind them that yeah. that has to be done. Well, now, Howard County makes them do this. Mm -hmm. Well, Massa County does. Because they, you know, so they I mean, ran we, in two you know, years, we might as well two years ago, and they've got the Massa County, they opened trench. But in Grant County, they, we didn't have the ordinance, and they... Yeah, until we got the ordinance, they were hurting us left and right. Mr. Wright, did you want to... Yeah, just, just kind of chime it in. So, um, there is no trigger of uh, like a holy moly type thing where when these uh, groups come in like that, that they have to contact other utilities or anything like that. Can, can, can the drainage board be an entity that's got to be notified if there's any ditching going on in that area? I mean, I, like a homeowner. You'd have uh, to join if, Holy Moly. Huh? Well, you'd have to join Holy Moly. Is, like, and there's a cost for that? Well, yeah, I can't remember yeah. what it is. I mean, is that worth a cost to, to us? Just to make sure we're contacted. Might well, be worth looking into to see what that costs. And I don't know, I, is it still called holy moly? I just yeah. kind of brought that up. Well, I, I just remembered as a lineman, I, I know that's what we did. These out, outfits would get somebody in to find electric cables or whatever, bearing electric cables. But there, we don't have something on ditch. Well, that's what I'm saying. If, if we problem. could add the ditch, if we could add the, the, the tile ditch, that would be good. When you bury a gas line or something, you bury a thin wire with it. So the boy could walk over and see it. A lot of these tile is no one knows 50 to 100 years old, okay? And if what? I mean, with, through holy moly, if they're not located, then the contractor's not, not liable. liable. I was going to say, but, we, but at least, so but at least it would. Let, at least it would. This, uh, this, this person, but it, if it was somebody else, it's still your fault. Yeah, I mean, it, it, would, it would give. 
they'd give Jim notice that someone's going to be digging through, and then it'd be a matter of contact the property owner, find out who the farmer is, and that's, I mean, that's kind of a little bit of a safety net. Yeah, is I mean, what I'm thinking is if if we could do that, at least it would give us the opportunity to either contact that farmer or. I mean, I'm, I'm looking around here and listening to this conversation. I mean, there's a wealth of knowledge on this board um, that, that uh, well, we're very thankful the for. The county them. tiles have a vague map, so we know the approximate location. Yeah. But a lot of them have a riser on one side of the road or not. So that's easy, but there's so many that Kenny's talking about. There's no way of knowing where they are. There's no right. record kept. Right. You know, right. That's what they're running into. Does, does the highway department have a email address that they put out another thing closures excuse me they notified the board. board and another thing steve we got farmers farming 20 30 miles away and it's not like in the old days when you had three people farming a hunter right. or 80 or whatever you, everybody knew their neighbors Gordon could have people slip in by him, or I could have them slip in with me, and I don't even know them, okay? And they come in, and 24 hours they're in and out. Yeah, and yeah. Well, last. Yeah. yeah. I wrote that question down, down, Raymond. I'll, I'll see. If but you, you would also, you would also know the company yeah. if they had, if if we were a part of that fully mobile, yeah. we would have the company that we could go back on and say, hey, you cut a tile, and you need to come back and fix this. That's that's kind of what's running around in my head yeah. a little bit. If that makes sense. Yeah. Would you have access to get us the information? As far as holy moly, holy moly, we just yeah. call it up on. Yeah, there's. They're just going the to subscriptions are different depending on your coverage area and things. So I I can get an idea, um, but it might be easier, like what Raymond was saying. I mean it. When someone gets a highway cut permit, if if a, if you're copied on it, then you know. And David has our plat maps to show them where our county tiles are. Yeah. You know what depending on what township they're in, so at least they know. You know when they get in an area, they've got a larger tile to look for. Farmers can look there and see what areas are going to get trenched. Well, we'll mark the tiles beforehand. Yeah. Well, he brought that subject up. I'm going to throw a better piece into this. If I want to cut a county highway, I go out there and pay a $75 fee. I cut the highway. They send two or three dump trucks out there with gravel and stuff, and then come back and blacktop after this is done. That's 75 is too cheap. I shouldn't say that, but it's, you know. I'll pass that on to David and see if he wants to raise that fee again. But no, I think we raised it within the last year, I thought. To 75. Up to 75, yeah. It may have been, may have been 35. But I, I think it was, yeah, lower and we really <clears throat> cranked it up. So maybe we need to. Well, I sure, we sure need to. Rather than have to bore, you know, boring is expensive, and a lot of tiles we got if we cut the county saves us a lot of money. That was the the, the, I know, the big what push that I think is out there is he didn't want to he didn't want to well, cut that new. The one time we was so. furnishing the stone and, and, and stuff to fill it back in, and then we had a a guy come in and dump dirt on the road. Okay, mm -hmm. and fill it back with. He knows. He knows who he was. And then that screwed everything. Yeah. Up, okay. So then the county come back in, had to dig that dirt out, and then they come out with a couple of dump trucks with gravel to, to fill fill the hole back in. Mm. And what I'm saying is, you know, I, it could be higher. In that situation now if if that tile that they're putting in goes to six or eight different people, who's going to pay for the expense? I guess the group then? Whoever's putting the tile in is going to pay the expense, and they're going to bill the other people. Okay, if it's 
contractor. Because mm -hmm. he's the one getting the permit. Mm -hmm. We'll call it the uh, Kenny Cates <laughs> resolution. <laughs> yeah, I got picked up. <laughs> well, you're exactly right, because I've got a couple kind of tiles, and, uh, not tiles, roads, and it's not enough. I mean, uh, I, that ain't it's, it's all right for me, but it's still not, not enough. And we'd rather cut the tile, uh, road than have to board, because that's expensive. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't afford that. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what the figure ought to be, but it needs to be more than it is. <laughs> you got to figure out if you got two loads of stone. Okay, there's there's close to five hundred dollars. Yeah. Yep. And also, if you're going to put a smooth core in, which you should put under the road so it doesn't collapse. Because well, I had one. I had one. The county wanted to not put smooth smooth core in, and I paid the smooth core. And they put it in. So then it was a whole lot of we talking the county wanted, but it's yeah. something yeah. to deal with that we have to deal with. We'll follow up on these uh, this holy moly stuff and the uh, cut cost and uh, see what where we get, but. Uh, it, it is well past our Gene Johnson time. I'm good, so. Aaron. I'll make a motion. Too late. Uh, Pat got it. Pat got the motion, <laughs> so you can second it. <laughs> All those in favor, say aye. Aye. Uh, it's good. We'll see you on the 9th, August 9th. The uh, solar thing, uh, the meetings are going to be on the 15th. Uh, they, are, they are going to have a meeting on the 1st. But I think they're having a special meeting. Um, yeah, it's the 15th. Is it the 15th? Yeah, the 6 o'clock specific on solar. Yeah, this okay. looks a little bit ago. I just, we need to 